right, guess where I am? Back at Marina Bay Sands. It's a nice afternoon here in Singapore. It rained all of the morning today, but I'm very pleased to be here because I've gotten a premier studio room now. 2699 Tower 2, level 26. So basically a premier studio room is a uh, corner room here. As you can see, uh, this room, this particular room, room is supposed to face the garden. But this sliver of the room, you can see uh, the Art Science Museum, Marina Bay, or sorry, not Marina Bay Science, Mandarin Oriental, the Ritz Carlton, and that area of Marina Bay. But primarily, your views are going to be overlooking the gardens by the bay. This is a huge room, it's about 70 square meters. And I guess they kind of treat it like a junior suite because some of the amenities here are slightly upgraded compared to the normal Premier Studio room. As you can see to the left here, as soon as you enter, you have your standard or standard to the Sands Premier Rooms um, sort of mini bar. And in the corner here, you'll see the view that I was just talking about. So you could be making your morning coffee while overlooking the city here. It's pretty fantastic. Sorry. But anyway, the first upgraded thing that I want to show you is the amount of coffee pods. There were only like two or three kinds, I believe, at the normal room, but this one has literally six different types and two each. Same thing with the tea. There's multiple flavors or varieties to choose from compared to like the two or three in the normal room. Everything else is the same uh, as far as the equipment goes and what's inside the paid mini bar, same thing. Very beautiful still. But you do get that Voss water. I drink one, they give you four. And they'll be happy to refill this every time you ask. But I mean, yeah, it's a uh, premium stuff. So what the free stuff is, uh, coffee capsules, tea sachets, candies, the milk in this fridge right here. We bought this by the way. And uh, milk is like down here, right there and the candies, which are also available to be refilled upon request. Okay, moving on to the rest of the suite, I guess you could call it. You have this huge 75 inch TV with smart room capabilities. Uh, it has Chromecast, AirPlay, and the normal HDMI stuff. I think the HDMI port is to the side here. It's not. It's somewhere here, but anyway, well, over here, there's an armoire that you also find in the other room. These are all paid. I think there's more options here. Yeah, it seems like there's more types of alcohol compared to the normal room. Nice coasters, a uh, book, recipe book. Even the garnishes are also here, just like the other room and the actual drinks too. Of course, just like the other room, it's all super smart here. Like everything you control with the digital stuff. You could use the app and you could use the remote and you could use a TV to control every aspect of this room. All the blinds are electronic. The room is controlled with the temperature, you know. And here you have this huge sofa. I'm sure someone could sleep on this if they wanted to. Uh, on the side table here is in my bag, the room key and a wireless charger along with the pen and a notepad and the phone too. Then you have this nice table uh, with some complimentary fruit and a dining set. If you order some food to go or something, you could eat here. It's my laptop. And here's the view from this side of the room. As you can see, the gardens by the Bay Complex. It's a little obstructed, unfortunately. I'm on the 26th floor. And each room type, I have to mention, differs slightly due to the curved nature of the building. So your Sands Premier room might not look exactly like this. But in general, it's gonna be a big step up from the normal rooms in terms of space and amenities too. So here's the bedroom. Look how plush that bed looks. There's six pillows I can count right now. The remote, my watch, 
Same thing as the other rooms. The uh, universal outlet, and you can see everything is controlled here. From the light uh, intensity to the sheer and blackout shades. And you also have a tiny Bang & Olufsen speaker. Same views here, but you can open this door actually. Although I don't really see the point because there's no balcony. I guess this is what you call a Juliet balcony. Very tiny. Another massive 75 inch TV here. Same thing as the other side, but you can actually see the HDMI cables right here. And by the way, this little net thing is a sound bar. So very nice. And then, like I mentioned, you could airplay and uh, there are speakers in the bathroom, which I'll show you too, like my t-shirt. I'm not really sure what this is for. I think it's for like a suit maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I actually have no idea. It's definitely not a normal chair. I don't think you're supposed to sit on this. Although one of you guys knows, please let me know. I'm kind of dumb. On this side, your room stylus is what you call the um, housekeeper here. You can see same thing, except this side has the uh, temperature controls. It's really hot in here. Let me just turn that down. Change it to Fahrenheit. USB-C and the normal USB here. Good for all you iPhone uh, 15 uh, owners. They don't have that yet. Wireless charger, nice lamp. And then moving on to the bathroom. But before that, two closet space. My big bag, my small bag, the beautiful amenities here. You got slippers, his and hers. My girlfriend took hers already. And then some space for your clothes. And this, the nicest laundry bag I've ever had in any hotel. Fantastic stuff. Hair dryer, oh, which is Dyson. I didn't even know. That's another upgraded thing. Very nice. In the normal rooms just have normal dryers. And by normal, I mean the normal Sands Premier rooms, which are already very luxurious. More closet space. The umbrellas are very nice. Leather wrapped. And for some reason, four bathrobes. Interesting. This one is white too. So I don't know what that's for. Slightly different uh, exterior. So I'll look more into that. But anyway, here's the bathroom. Compared to the rest of the room, it's a bit small, but you do have a bathtub, dual vanities, and a shower here behind this frosted door. And look at the beautiful amenities by Bulgari. This is my first time staying in a hotel with uh, Bulgari toiletries. Very excited to use that tonight. And the uh, shower controls here, just like the normal rooms with the overhead. Very nice. And here, the space Spaceship Smart Toilet is right here. See, it opens as soon as you open the door to the toilet. Controls here, heated, everything. You got, you got all the bells and whistles here. No complaints. And then let's take a look at the sink, closer look. Same Bulgari. They provide very extensive amenities here down there. Very high quality stuff too. This side is for guys, this side is for um, women. So good stuff. If you forgot anything, they have high quality replacements here for you. Soap is still Bulgari. And uh, you'll see branded amenities everywhere here. So all in all, it's a fantastic upgrade for me from the normal, already luxurious Sands Premier room. And I'll be very happy to stay here over the next week. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video. Peace.